Meta, we got to talk about this. They're looking to expand into the AI universe. The platform is reportedly launching chatbots with a range of personalities as soon as September, according to the Financial Times. So what does this mean for the future of the metaverse? David Mazza, Roundhill Investments Chief Strategy Officer, still with us. What, what does this mean for the future of the metaverse? I mean, they haven't necessarily said that they're just ending all ambitions to bring that to life. They're still trying to make that a reality. Yeah, I don't think they're they're ending this at all. They're still spending billions and billions of dollars uh, uh, from a capex per perspective to but AI is the flashy thing. Correct right to bring that to bring that to life. But right now we are seeing the the sort of near term reality and focuses uh, of a company like Meta on generative AI because it's a bit more attainable. It's a bit more usable today. We could log on and start using our, our like I said, chatbots uh, for consumer applications for corporate applications. Even among our ETF suite at Roundhill, of course, we have the Metaverse ETF ticker uh, MetV, but we also have a generative AI ETF, Chat, uh, and Chat is considering consider is seeing considerably more interest right now hmm. than MetV from from a, a flow perspective, even as performance of both is really strong. Um, so I, I think that's a bit indicative to me of saying. Well, what's the near-term uh, focus? And of course, that's generative AI. What can people use? What can they feel today? And the metaverse gets kind of pushed out a bit further. Doesn't mean it's not necessarily going to happen, but it's a theme that's maybe not as accessible or, again, attainable for, com for companies who are focused on producing results this quarter or the next quarter. Yeah, I was going to ask you, which is the mo where are you seeing the most inflows right now? Is it in that um, generative AI? Um, ETF among the suite of ETFs that you guys have? I'd say by a wide mile. So the yeah. ticker of that uh, is CHAT, C-H-A-T. Uh, and that's one that we actually introduced in May of this year. And since then, we've seen really strong trading volume and really strong inflows. And I think some of this is because it's it's the first ETF and only ETF that provides pure play exposure to companies involved with generative AI. So in that ETF, you're, you're going to see names, uh, of course, on the semiconductor side like NVIDIA, um, but also companies like a Microsoft that are involved with creating large language models and creating the tools that consumers and businesses can use to integrate generative AI into their workflows or just or just day to day. Yeah, we'll keep watching it. All right, Dave, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. David Mazza is Roundhill Investments Chief Strategy Officer. Appreciate it.